Brakta Yahawa, Brakta Yahushai, Brakta Yahawa, Brakta Yahushai, Kahla, Yahawa Bashem, Yahushai, Bashem, Rukakadash. Double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone, in whom we run, learn this truth. And shalom to you, Akim, and shalom to you, Aqua. Shalom unto the elect. All right, so pretty much we're going to get straight into the lesson. And uh, pretty much is this one of the many abominations in this in this uh, wicked world, uh, mostly here in Babylon, the Great, which is AKA America. And that's pretty much straight into the point. Uh, this be a celebrity or a man of status in this wicked kingdom uh, named Kid, Kid Cudi. Uh, he be an Israelite, but, you know, our people out here being wicked for, you know, money and riches of that nature. Um, but uh, we have law, statutes, and commandments we have to live by from our power. How about Shemya Shah? All right. And it reads in First John, and it says, First John chapter three and verse four it says, "Whosoever committeth sin transgresseth also the law, for sin is the transgression of the law." Yahweh Shai ordained law, statutes, and commandments for the Israelites, his chosen people. All right, and this is the commandment in Deuteronomy chapter twenty-two and verse five. It says, the woman shall not wear that which pertaineth unto a man, neither shall a man put on a woman's garment. And as you can see, he is breaking that commandment wholeheartedly and probably for some money, you know, most likely. It says, for all that do so are an abomination unto the Yahweh, thy power. All right. When it reads all capitals with Lord. In the Bible, we know, uh, going back to the Paleo Hebrew, uh, the all capital stands for Yahweh, thy power, all right? And God stands for the, the uh, means and stands for power, all right? So let's get it in Romans. It says, Romans chapter 6 and verse 23, it says, For the wages of sin is death, but the gift of power is eternal life through Yahweh Shah Hamashiach our lord all right so we we uh the brethren uh the prophets out here on the highways and byways making these lessons uh pleading for our uh people to turn back from the wicked ways and repent unto yahweh by shimmy Shah. we seek of eternal life through our power yahweh by shimmy Shah. but the wages of sin is death to the israelites um who continue to sin it says for wickedness have exceedingly polluted the whole earth, and their hurtful works are fulfilled. That's in Second Edris chapter fifteen, verse six. Wickedness is all throughout this place. And in Proverbs chapter twenty-eight, four it says, "They that forsake the law praise the wicked, but such as keep the law contend with them." All right, we contend uh, with the wickedness in this uh, this kingdom. It says, "Assert something." as a position in an argument we argue and we fight and we contend uh with the wickedness that be in this uh wicked kingdom babylon aka america all right it says first john oh it says in john chapter 14 verse 15 if ye love me keep my commandments all right we love you how about shimmy out that's why we try to keep his commandments and it says faith without works is dead to roughly paraphrase on jude it says beloved when I have when when I gave all diligence to write unto you of common salvation of the common salvation, it was needful for me to write unto you and exhort you that ye should earnestly contend for the faith which was once delivered unto the saints. So we wonder why we get on these celebrities and these Israelites that be not of uh, this truth or know the truth and disobey. It's because we are contending for our faith. We believe in this wholeheartedly. We love Yahweh Shimei Shah. That's why we keep his commandments. Though we are not saved by 
uh, keeping the law, statutes, and commandments. We have faith in Yahweh Shai, which he died for us, that his blood will cover us. And we, you know, continue to do this work, work in faith that we um, shall receive eternal life, salvation. All right. And, you know, with that, Shalom.